Welcome back. Last week, the FDA approved a new weight loss drug. It's called Wagovi, and it's approved for people who are either obese or overweight and have at least one weight-related medical condition. But there have been many weight loss drugs released to a lot of fanfare that just haven't proven to be what people had hoped. So how does Wagovi compare? We're joined by Dr. Robert Kushner with Northwestern Center for Lifestyle Medicine and a patient who took part in the clinical trials, that is Lisa Robillard. Thanks so much for joining me this morning to both of you. Okay, Dr. Kushner, let's start with you. What makes Wagovi different from other weight loss drugs and how does this work? Well, the drug, I think, is a, is a direction in a new generation of medications. It harnesses a naturally occurring hormone that we have in our body that's released when we eat food that normally makes you feel more full. So by, by mimicking this hormone and boosting the level and then giving it back as a once a week injection, you get a control of your appetite, less hunger, more full, less thoughts of food, less cravings. So it really helps someone who's struggling with their weight get control of their diet. So is this a different mechanism than we've seen in the past? Because it doesn't sound that different, explain. Well, some of the other medications have used chemicals and modulators in the brain, but they didn't really mimic hormones that we normally uh, have in our body. Uh, and there's a whole series of hormones that cause us to be hungry or full. So by looking at more of the physiology, the natural biology of our body, and taking those hormones and again, boosting them or amplifying them and giving them back to the body, uh, I consider it more of a natural way of, of helping someone control their appetite. Okay, Lisa, let's talk about what you went through. You were part of the clinical trial. What kind of difference did this make for you and, and how much weight did you end up losing? Um, well, I think I will just, just go with what Dr. Kushner said. Uh, for the first time I had, um, was not hungry before between meals. Did we lose Lisa? I think we might have lost Lisa. Dr. Kushner, are you still there? Yes, I am. I'm okay, sorry. I'm here. Oh, sorry okay. about that. That's um, okay. In answer to the quick question, I did not have cravings. I um, was did not eat between meals, and I um, knew actually my body said, "Okay, you've had enough." stop eating mm -hmm. um, and I lost a total of 63 pounds and had you done any other weight loss drugs before and if so how was this one different no um, I had never done any okay. weight loss drugs I had done plenty of weight loss programs but um, never any medical okay so let's talk about the side effects because that's always a big concern what kind of side effects did you experience I had very minimal side effects. Um, I had a little bit of acid reflux um, when I changed dosages, but other than that, and that that was gone within one or two days. So very, very few side effects. Okay, Dr. Kushner, there are people at home sitting and listening to this interview wondering if this might be the drug for them. Who is the perfect candidate for this? And is it in fact a game changer or is it gonna be one of those things where we get a lot of promises, but not a lot of delivery? Well. First of all, you already outlined who is eligible, and that is someone with obesity or someone who is overweight and has a medical problem. But whether it's appropriate for you, if you're struggling with your body weight, if you're having difficulty controlling your appetite, losing weight, keeping your weight off, because it is a chronic ongoing disease, just like diabetes, for example. So we think about becoming more aggressive. So if you're someone who's struggling with your weight, talk to your healthcare provider about whether you are a candidate for this medication, to become more aggressive in managing your weight. Now, is, is this gonna be a game changer? I really do think this sets the stage for a new generation of medications, as I said. The, the medication has been studied in four different trials that lasted out to 68 weeks uh, in, with different, uh, different um, purposes of, of, of testing uh, 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 you know, uh, long-term use and side effects and so forth. But, we have really good data on this drug out mm -hmm. to 68 weeks. On the average, individuals lost 15% of their body weight. At least is one of those individuals who lost, I think, more than 20% of her mm. body weight. So that's really quite uh, outstanding. We haven't seen this in another drug to date. Okay, so you actually sound excited about this one. I want to ask you again then. Let's get a little more specific. Like I said, people at home watching, wondering if this might be for them. Uh, what defines obesity? Uh, if somebody wants to lose 20 pounds, is this something for them? If somebody wants to lose 15 pounds, 30 pounds, where do you put them? 
Right. So we define obesity by using a, a term called body mass index, which is height weight relationship. You could Google it. Anyone can find out their BMI by putting in their height and weight. So a number of 30 or more defines obesity or someone who's overweight, which is a BMI of 27 or more with a medical problem. Uh, you know, we, we, I think we have to get beyond this whole idea that being overweight or having obesity is a problem of willpower or, or willful misconduct. And if you just worked harder, that's not how we think about mm -hmm. obesity. And if you are 15, 20, 30, or 40 pounds or more overweight, but it is affecting your function, your feeling, you're having medical problems because of it, talk to your healthcare provider about becoming more aggressive in the treatment of your weight. Is it expensive? Does insurance cover it? Uh, it will need insurance coverage uh, as a as a once a week injectable hormone mm -hmm. or peptide. It is going to be expensive, so uh, you check with your health care, your insurance, and uh, and and your payer about coverage. And then once a week for how long until you get to that point that you want to be at? You know, it's approved for weight loss and maintenance of weight loss. And this gets back, Sylvia, to what I was saying before: is that we need to think about obesity for most individuals as a chronic, progressive, relapsing medical problem or disease, just like hypertension or diabetes. So we're really talking about long-term use of this health problem. Oh, very interesting. Okay, and with that then, Lisa, I want to ask you, would you recommend this to somebody else? Would you do this again? Um, I would definitely do this again. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as recommending it to somebody else, I think the best thing is for them to talk to their doctor. First of all, they should be an advocate for themselves and talk to their doctor and see if it's right for them. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I did, and I'm really, really glad I did it. And Dr. Kushner, I want to thank you because I think you bring up such a good point. You brought it up twice in our conversation this morning, and that's that this isn't about willpower. This is about your health, and this is about trying to control your life, and at least I'm sure you can attest to that. Um, what do you want to say to people who say, you've got, Lisa, you should have the willpower. You, you, why do you need a drug? What would your response to that be? I'm sorry. I, I, I wonder what would your response to someone who says to you, I, can you hear me anymore, Lisa? Yeah, I can hear okay. you. Okay. Yes. What I'm would sorry. your response be to somebody who says to you, you should be able to do this with willpower? Uh, why do you have to go to a drug? What do you want people to know about what Dr. Kushner has said? Um, I've been doing this for the majority of my life and um, I have willpower. Um, if it was just about willpower, I would have lost. Well, I'm so sorry. We keep missing Lisa, Wait, but obviously. Yeah, obviously, Lisa, you're saying you've done this your whole life. It's been a struggle. This has been something that has helped. Um, I think it's an important message. I want to thank you for joining me this morning. And Dr. Kushner, I want to thank you as well. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be reaching out because this is obviously an issue, a big problem that we have in our country. So we appreciate both of you this morning. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you. Okay, we'll be right back.